Hey folks, G Hondo here, and welcome back to Captain of Industry. This is episode 59. In the last episode, we continued this massive upgrade project on all of our blast furnaces, and that's when I discovered the very, very unfortunate event that when you upgrade these furnaces, the basic ores disappear as an option, which meant I had to rapidly and panicked add at least one crusher. The copper one we'll get to eventually, but we had to panic run the iron one, so that was not so good. What was good though is we got enough of this, I don't know, there's probably a better name for it, but I've been calling it the uh, ocean waste platform. Anyway, we got enough of that down that we were actually able to place the cargo docks here. Obviously we're still in the process of building them, but they, I was at least allowed to place them, sign the contract, so we will be able to do ore for iron ore for vehicle part twos, which will be great. And I think I forgot, yes I did to ask you to make sure we always have some so they can filter their way in once this is actually done. So there we go. You are caught up. Let's get this going here. And because we are so desperately low on parts and of course iron, I'm deliberately not researching for a little bit. Well, I think it might be time to buy some more iron. You want to really rip me off, but I'll take some anyway. And who else can I trade with that might give me something helpful here? Oh yeah, you would be you just giving me ores directly. Oh, you, you do recognize it's a rip-off. Yikes. Alright, well, let's do it anyway. Okay. That will at least get us going again. But maybe I should actually prioritize this. At least the one. I can fill it, get it out, get the boat on its way, bring the stuff back, and then because then ultimately, because we do have already one built, and I could just say, okay, yes, turn that on for a bit when this boat comes back. But until this one's done, that trade can't happen anyway because it won't pass stuff to the boat. So we'll say this one has to be done first. And in fact, if I have, if I take one of these. Ah, you, yeah, you're already partway done. So if I'd say, don't do that, give them a second to come and take all those parts away, and then say, yeah, go ahead and do it, because I do want it done. But that freed up all those parts, and now most, if not all of them, should be available to come up here. In fact, that's more than we needed, so definitely they should be able to come up here. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. You have brought parts. So theoretically, they should. If I had this thing facing the right way. Or if I got this facing, I've got this facing the wrong way. I come on. I don't know why I do that, but it happens so often. It's just me. I'm sure most people don't have that problem, but I seem to always, always, always get them backwards. This one at least looks like it's correct. Yes, the green arrows are on that side. So that one I did right, but somehow I did this one backwards again. Anyway, you are now helpfully dumping that stuff here. So the boat will load up. Excellent. should keep this on the list so I can see. Okay, that's kind of need one more thing on this list. What else could I want to know about most of the time? Probably I'm going to want electronics at some point, but what do I need to know about like right now? Well, think of anything I need to know about right now, right? Yeah, I don't think anything here is really critical to know about. Okay, well then we'll just jimmy this some other way. I basically just want the parts all to be together. Just because that's 
easier for me to see them. But I guess it doesn't matter if they're not necessarily at the top. Oh, hang on, this will work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, okay. Put that on this side. I totally wrecked it. <laughs> I see. Okay, I think I see how this is doing it. So, if I then move vehicle parts over, yeah, okay. Now I get how you're working. Swap you two directly, and you should be back. Yep, with a whole stack. Now, you refused to do this one because this one wasn't done when it left, but that's fine. Look at all this lovely ore. Again, if there's anybody who has about 60 parts partially done, you don't. Well, you, you're singles. Oh yeah, those are just the belts. Those are not spectacularly helpful. You don't have any... Okay. Alright, we may just have to wait now then. That's right. As a temporary measure, I can just say that. And then they'll haul that stuff out of there. So we can actually use it. And as soon as this is done, obviously these can go back off. Because I don't actually want them trucking from here, they can just grab it from here. The really nickel and diming must bring like two or three parts at a time. <laughs> Again, I told you it's urgent, but that is kind of silly, guys. You can wait till there's a few, right? <laughs> You're empty anyway, so. Yeah, bringing one part all the way over here is not an efficient trip, guys. It just isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry to break your hearts, but, and I love you to bits, but that just isn't the way it's done. And there's another good pile, so we can actually kick these back on again. It's temporarily. Oh yeah, nobody's going to be able to get to that one anyway. There's no point in even trying. That one cannot be done. These ones at least they can get at. Although I'm not sure how they get at this one. Like this one's obviously fine, but how do they get at the next? Maybe from this corner? I guess they must have a like a one pixel reach or something. It's bizarre either way. Cargo ship is low on fuel. Right, because I forgot to say bring fuel here. Whoopsies. And I guess once I have the other cargo docks in here, so I can see exactly where it is, I'll probably put a diesel store here. here. Okay, you're up, so you guys are now off. Beautiful. But yeah, until I actually place it, I don't know exactly where it's going to be, so I don't want to put it down and then have to move it, so... Temporarily, you're just going to have to be trucked in. I suppose I could go like tucked in right here, because I know it's not going to be anywhere close to this, so... And we'll just do a, a reasonably sized one. Yeah, and just tuck it in pretty close to here. But leave a little bit of a gap for pipes to go out from here over to it. Well, that should be totally fine, right? Diesel, keep you at a decent clip. And then this will no longer need that. Because you have enough for your next trip now, so that's fine. And by the time you're back, this will be long since ready. In fact, it pretty much already is. built with just waiting on the fuel to get over here and that's totally fine. Okay, 
Very nice. Very, very nice. Diesel does appear to be holding pretty steady around a thousand, so I don't think we're in any imminent danger. Yeah, it's fine. It was tipping a bit while they were bringing stuff over, but it seems totally fine. Okay. Alright, now... We still have a long way to go. It's just, I have to keep an eye on these old blast furnaces, because when they switch, they like I say, they cannot do the non-crushed version, so I have to be watching them to make sure I can switch them over immediately. Well, I'm not sure if the glass mix version would be affected. I need one of my already upgraded ones. Here's the glass mix. Okay, so it looks like the glass mix one won't be affected, so that one will be fine. But, but definitely the steel ones will, will be affected, so I have to keep an eye on that for sure. I'm assuming you're running at full speed. As far as I know, iron and steel are currently still completely fine. Yeah, you certainly appear to be. Very close to, I guess. Maybe not a hundred percent, but very close to. What is happening here? Who's complaining? Oh, we have too much wood. Okay. That's fine. So if anything, I might need more glass, right? Well, no, we're doing fine on glass. It just needs time to process. Okay. Is there anything we can sell wood for that would be useful? I definitely don't need bricks. Definitely don't need concrete. I mean, I guess I could just get more scrap. Eh, fine. There. Congratulations, truck. You're no longer overloaded with wood. <laughs> Was that useful? Probably not, but that's fine. Copper should probably be done next, I think. So at least it can stay on. We have a lot, it's not urgent, but it may as well be next. Just to make it official. Yeah, because the actual furnace for copper was done first. That was actually how I noticed it in the first place. One more. Just one more bit. There you go. Okay. Now we can start hauling copper ore over here and get that rolling again. Beautiful. Quite full by the time this one's actually. What is happening here? What is happening here? Hang on a second, something is gone funny. Is that not the right spot for ores in? Oh, that was for coal in. Well, no, that certainly looks like it's... Maybe it was officially set on the wrong one, though. Cannot tell. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Let's just redo this entirely better. This is the coal, and I think coal is supposed to come to this one, not this one, so I think this one's wrong as well. So let's just do both of these over and do them better, right? Unless these are saying any of your inputs, 
But that certainly makes it look like cold only lives there. see any red marks. I also don't see... Oh, we're being told to keep that empty. No, no, no. It's the other way around. You should be bringing stuff here often. That's better. Probably should not be hauling stuff out of here. We should have enough coal anyway, it shouldn't matter. But. Okay, so as far as we're now concerned, that part should all be fine. Uh, are you getting sand in? Probably not right now. Nobody can get here with sand. Right. Okay. Because they cannot fit through there, I guess. Okay, I guess this ramp's got to move over a bit. Or up or something. Okay. We can do that. Let's push it up one square. Over one. Yeah, we'll try maybe over one. No, we'll try just back one. Let's try that. Yeah, you took away all those white parts and ate them. Okay, good. <laughs> or is it maybe they can't, even if they get through here, they can't get through here, maybe. Maybe we gotta redo this pipe as well. Maybe we gotta redo this one as well. Okay, I kinda need access to this connector. Not the vehicle ramp. Forget it, just get out of the way for a minute. <laughs> try it. Stuff still says they can't get there. Could it be this blocking stuff from this side, maybe? We can certainly lose this. Let's see if that matters. Because there's no reason that that should be anything but really, really, really close, right? Exhaust. Yes. Well, that still isn't good for them. Yeah, clearly some vehicles can get here. So why do you think that some of them can't? Uh, that must mean that only the non... Well, no, there's yellow trucks here, so it's not even that. So what? happening here. Is it that? No, it doesn't seem to be that either. Hmm. 
lot trapped in here may be part of that problem. Well, you're not trapped. You can roll it this way and get out. I mean, it's not a great path by any stretch, but it can be done, clearly. Across here, you drive up there. Or did you just need a really long time to see somebody do it and figure it out? Could that be all it is? Bizarre. Okay, one single piece, please. Thank you. Would like ore copper to be moving again. Thank you. Okay. Copper is now flowing again. <laughs> We're very close to actually finishing this. Very cool. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're doing full trips here. Is vehicle part two production not that good? Should be going pretty much non stop, right? definitely are fine on part ones, in fact we're overloading on them. Okay, okay. well I'm assuming you're going to be okay then. Starting on that one, haven't started on that one. But it looks like they've done most of the, like, just the little conveyors and pipes and what have you, so. We're actually pretty close to done. I want to say that that's still about 250 to go, but still, that's quite reasonable. I guess over here now, I don't really so much need copper ore so much as crushed copper ore, right? Same with the iron. And on the subject of copper, was there a contract for copper? Obviously not going to be doing anything with it right this second, but is there one? For household appliances. Okay. Is there a better one? <laughs> for, or lab equipment too. What would I rather give out? Actually, I only do have household appliances. I have household goods, so I can't even do that other one. But would I be willing to give out lab equipment twos for copper? I mean, maybe? Oh, yeah, we have tons. Maybe at some point, but certainly not real soon. This is going to last a very long time, and I'm not intending to build anything over here for a long, long time anyway. So I don't even care if they completely wreck this terrain. Corn will dry out due to lack of water. Uh, we have lots of water. Why are you not getting any of it? Okay. This water line has gone completely dry. Which is fascinating. Why is that? You've got lots of water. Yeah, you've got lots of water. Why is none of it coming across here? Did I break something? Yes, I did. Yes, you should now be receiving water. Okay. How are my guys doing? You're doing great. Yeah, you're doing great. Okay. I suppose I might as well just tell you to... I mean, although it looks like you're doing that anyway, I was going to say I should tell you to officially do this one first, but it looks like they already have decided to do that anyway, so... Maybe that just doesn't even matter. Okay, there we go. 
here ready. So now we just need to wait for some limestone to migrate over here, and then we are all set. And at least one, obviously the other one's not done yet, but at least one of the ones we were waiting on is done. Are you a steel one, or are you just a basic iron one? Oh no, you are a steel one as well. Okay. So half our steel production is ready now. There we go. You cannot keep up. Oh, we have too much steel. Oh, okay. Whew. That's not a problem I expected to see anytime soon, but fair enough. But we actually do have that pipe directly in here to speed this along that still can't keep up. Wow, we. Alright, so anyway, it looks like it's just that one left to do, and clearly it's not. It's not that urgent. But we should definitely do it anyway, because basically, in the same 20 seconds, it uses one and a half as much iron ore to produce two output ore. So, not only is it way more efficient in terms of time, it's also more efficient in terms of resource. So, it's very nice. Is there a better assembler? Spelt assembler right it would work a whole lot better. Well, there's a robotic assembler apparently. Okay. So how does one get into that? Okay, so that would unlock that. And apparently they need processing power in addition to people and power. Interesting. Yeah, that's definitely much faster. Okay, so we're going to have to get into purple parts. And gold. From a higher research lab. Okay, so it's not going to be quick. This is not going to be a fast process. We are far enough along, I could start on being able to produce electronics. Like electronic tubes, I mean, we already lost two or basic ones. Okay. Well, like I said, I don't want to do any research now while we're waiting on parts, but I think that's likely to be the next thing we do. Probably. Off camera, I'll look through the whole list and see if anything else jumps out at me, but. Unless something does, it's going to be bad, I think. Okay, there we go. That's the last blast furnace being done. And again, we have so much steel, it's really not anywhere near what I would call critical, but we absolutely should have it. So yeah, there we go. some limestone over here and then that is that and we can finally start actually recovering red parts for a while <laughs> that'll be nice there we go there's some limestone this one is up we cannot dump anywhere that means this is done that means this is done oh marvelous Yeah, so they can't be that close together. Okay, so yeah, we definitely are not going to be able to put two of them here. If this one's interfering already, all the way back to here. I'll put it the absolute lowest square I can get away with, but I still think... Oh yeah, for sure. There's no way that's going to go. Maybe I should just put it further up, it'd be easier for this and give us some more room. Yeah, let's just move it up a little bit. We'll just put it up, say, here. Okay. Just cut across here and ramp it. We'll just do it the easy way. Give you a ramp. Here. 
That's probably sufficient, actually. I think one rep should do. I'll put it right as close as it can go. Maybe I'll move it over one. That way, for sure, they can cut through here, no problem. So they can reload this. And if they do need uh, SSLP, of course, they can just go around like that. That'd be totally fine. Okay, so there we go. I think we're going to call that there for today. I think we made fantastic progress. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really does help. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. See ya. Thank you.